Hey everyone, I've got a couple of upbox printers here and a uh, problem I noticed after a few years is the temperature reading started going all over the place. So actually the problem was a bad connection. And you can see here basically I've removed that connector and I've soldered the ribbon cable directly onto that header. You can still unplug and remove this easily enough and this card can be removed as well. So it's not really an issue doing this, but it also um, reinstates the reliability that you need when you're printing. Uh, instantly, I found the same problem with the DaVinci printers. The cable that runs to the heater block starts developing problems at the connector. So the connectors are kind of underrated for the job. Um, I'll just show you what I'm working on one right now. So basically, before I pull everything apart on the connector, I, I trace out very carefully which colours go to which pins. And another way of illustrating that is just over here. And we've got, basically, if you, if you put the ribbon cable flat, you'll see that the connector shape is like this on both ends. Um, and then it just curves around like that. So you can see here, hopefully, um, I've just carefully taken, taken apart this connector on this side and this side, um, split the wires back a little bit, taken off the insulation, soldered the tips and soldered, sorry, and soldered these connectors and then one by one soldered each one in place and once I've checked that with the multimeter I will put some hot glue on the top and bottom Now the hot glue melts at a couple of hundred degrees and since the chamber itself is, gets no warmer than say you know uh, say about 60 to 70 degrees around about the hot glue won't melt on there and being solid solder connections, you don't get any heat buildup in these connectors either. So the, sol the, the hot glue is just there to give it some mechanical strength because you don't want any of these wires coming loose and short circuiting anything, otherwise you damage your, your board. So it's very, very important that they remain all separate from each other. So I just run some hot glue on the top, let it dry, and run some hot glue on the bottom as well. So I just thought I'd show you what I've been doing with these upbox printers. Um, thanks for watching.